Good day. Well, we've had a number, that's like five days of uh, miserable, well, just rainy, cloudy uh, weather. So we haven't been able to get at our soybeans. In the meantime, uh, we have picked up <laughs> roughly 700 acres of custom, roughly 700 acres of custom corn. Uh, we're hoping to squeeze into our schedule here. And we're gonna try some of that right now. So, yes, you are seen right. I am driving a combine. And we're gonna give this a go. Now the first field we're going to try to uh, see how this works off. They figured it was good and dry. They got about 30 acres here. So that'll yeah, be a good way to get the header all tuned in and see what the moisture of the corn is. So yippee, I'm combining. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's hope this goes okay. sample in the back there. I'm very impressed with that. And, uh, Kemal's combining for the first time this year. No, not the first time. I did the oats. Oh, I, did, I did one up and down in the oats. Okay. Believe it or not though, when I was a kid, I actually did lots of combining. We corn. did, eh? Of corn. Corn, nothing else. Nothing else. Not I see when I was a kid, like when I was your age. How many, how many rows was the header at uh, your age? I think that one was a. I think that one was an eight row too. Could have been a six row. Oh, that's a long time. Was that the R series combine? Yep, R72, I believe. The old leaner combines. No, that was an eight row. Pretty sure it was an eight row. Not much corn right here. Oh. Pretty good. Well, hopper number one. I'm pretty much right full. I'm still doing headlands, so we're uh, I gotta unload standing still, but hopefully after this we should be good to go. I'm learning more about this combine. Monitor a bit. Where the corn's coming in on this field, where the corn's coming in on this field where it's tall, <laughs> it's coming in unbelievable. But there's lots of areas where it's fairly thin, so yeah. That's why they have averages. It's what the whole field does, not just the good parts. All right, headlands are done. We're going up and down. It's uh, field is very up and down, like I was saying earlier. There's areas it's coming in here really nice. Been seeing the yield up in that. 150 as high as 200. There you go. So in area, areas like this, the corn's coming in. It's just too bad there's not more areas uh, like this. Moisture, we did a moisture test. The first one came back at 23. 
they were hoping it'd be between 25 and 32 for high moisture corn. So. A little lower, so we'll see how that all works out. I know their other fields were testing as high as 30, so yeah. Well, I could get used to this. This is kind of fun. Where the corn's looking pretty good. There's some green stuff in here, but we're running. We're in the mid 150s. It's going to climb up here pretty quick to probably close to 200, I'm guessing. And my yield monitor is not calibrated quite right. Uh, there, now we're in the 200s. There, even as high as 300 there for a bit. I'm not changing my speed. I'm just, yeah, it's coming in really good here. As you can see, it's, it's just about to the top of the, right about there. So, and then it drops off, so. Yield monitor isn't quite calibrated right. Uh, the one load I dumped in it, was supposed to read, I think, 100 and I think it was right around 160, and I had 200. My monitor said 160, and the green card said 200 bushel. So I'm on the low side. So kind of has me optimistic about our corn. We figured there was a decent crop out there, but we weren't sure. Again, it's all depending where the rains went, different varieties. Oh dear, I'm all fire roll. To wrap the uh this evening we did 30 acres of uh, the neighbor's corn 
So <clears throat> that went well. Uh, this is the combine that we were uh, gonna try and do it with, but when we were bringing it over here to work on the corn header, uh, this combine we were having some heating issues uh, just before the rain and we, we were trying to see whether we had it figured out. <clears throat> so when Daryl drove it here, he discovered that, or we hadn't figured anything out. <clears throat> we hadn't fixed anything, it, that didn't work. So did a few more tests and we're pretty sure the thermostat, the, there's a thermostat issue. So this combine will get fixed tomorrow. The parts will be in tomorrow and the plan is to get it running. And we're gonna, we're gonna go combine some more corn in the morning. And hopefully we can get back into our own beans in the afternoon. So yeah, and hopefully that solves that problem. It's supposed to be fixed in the morning. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for taking the time to watch and uh, have yourself a good one.